Hello YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and it is time, baby. It is time for the Blu-ray and DVD Black Friday haul. I got a ton of stuff here, and I'm ready to show you guys everything that I got from the last month. And some of this I got before Black Friday, some of this I got I found for free, and others I got uh, yesterday on Thanksgiving, but I did get a lot of stuff. So let's start. First, I got this at Dollar Tree, and it's a movie with James Franco. It's called Good People. It's got James Franco, Kate Hudson, Tom Wilkinson, and Omar Sy, which I've never heard of. It's an action drama. It's about 91 minutes, so yeah, I'm going to watch that sometime. Let's get through these quick, because I don't want this video to be three hours. And, uh, you know, I'm really tired, so I want to just do this quick. Next, this is an actor that got shafted this year because he was in Suicide Squad for five minutes. This is a film he did beforehand. This will probably show more of his talent than, than DC did. Bam, Jared Leto and Mr. Nobody. Yeah, DC, you dropped the ball with this actor. He's a great actor. He won an Oscar, excuse me. And uh, he, when you, when he really shows his talents, he could show what he can do in film and use underuse that. Here, this movie is two hours and twenty five, uh, thirty five minutes. So it's a long one, but it's going to show a lot more Leto than I, I saw in Suicide Squad. It's R-rated, and it's, it's going to be better than that movie, I guarantee it. The acting is going to be superb. I know that. Next, I got this at Dollar Tree, Rhodey. This is with um, Jill Hennessy, Bobby Cannavale, and Ron Eldard. It's a musical drama, uh, and I you know, I was interested because I like the cast. And uh, who knows? It's a film from 2010. might be interesting. I just want to get through those quick because I, I don't know much about them. Now, this one is a Blu-ray I got at uh, Five Below. I got this for five bucks. It's a very funny comedy, action comedy from 2010. I think it's underrated because um, a lot of people said that it sucked or it wasn't that funny. I think it's better than a lot of comedies that came out this year. The Other Guys, the unrated other edition. This is a really funny movie. I like Will Ferrell and, and Marky Mark together. They're funny in the movie. Um, there's some decent action sequences. The film starts with The Rock and with Samuel Jackson jumping off a building and dying, which is hilarious because you didn't see that coming. It's got a decent secondary cast, except for Eva Mendez. I, I never liked her. She's useless in the movie. You didn't need her. But you got uh, Michael Keaton, Steve Coogan, and uh, Wayne, Ray Stevenson. But I don't remember. I think he's the villain in the movie. But it's a funny movie. If you want to look for a funny comedy that doesn't have fart jokes or queef jokes or sex jokes up the wazoo, this is one for you. This is really funny. And uh, it's got some decent action sequences. It's, uh, it's long for an unrated version. It's um, 116 minutes. And I saw the I saw the theatrical cut on uh, cable a long time ago. So, And I, I laughed. It was funny. You know, Will Ferrell's over the top, but he's fun here. And this isn't a horrible movie. I know I've seen worse, definitely. And it was worth the five bucks. Here's another film I got for cheap. Are You Here? This is a drama with or comedy with uh, Owen Wilson and Zach Galifianakis and uh, Amy Poehler, the voice of Joy from Inside Out. And she's an SNL alumni. Uh, she's cute. I've always liked Amy Poehler. I know a lot of people think that she's annoying. Hey, I'll take her over Kate McKinnon any day because at least she's not some over-the-top, ah, lesbian bullshit. Here, this is the movie. It's got a commentary. I hope it's good, because this this has not been a great year for me for buying stuff at Dollar Tree, but sometimes I get a uh, gem, so. Okay, these are the ones I found. I found this double bill, this uh, Martin, D D Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Collector's Edition. Over six hours, two DVDs. I threw the, fir the, the first DVD, I took it out, because it's a movie that I already own called... Um, at War with the Army, but I put uh, the diss of The Nutty Professor so because it's also a Jerry Lewis movie. And these guys were really funny together. Jerry was the funny guy. Dean was the, was the, was the you know, singer that always was mad at him, you know, yelling at him. But these guys were classic. I mean, Jerry is still around. He's really old. And one day when he passes away, it's going to be sad. But these guys were classic. If you want classic duos that were funny and had really good chemistry, see, see any of their films. And I guarantee you, you know, they're going to give put a smile on your face. They did a lot this year. This has the uh, Colgate Comedy Hour, which I want to see. So for, for finding it for free in the street, hey, I, I can do a lot worse. Next, I got this. I've never seen this series all the way through. I've seen clips of the show. Don't ask me if I think it's better than Superman. I think Supergirl's better because they don't tease. 
But I'd rather see this than anything on the CW now, uh, other than the superhero shows that I watch. Because I'd rather watch this in Vampire Diaries or uh, Supernatural or uh, this crazy ex-girlfriend or whatever. Those are stupid shows. The first season of Smallville. Yes, I know there's no Superman in this show. It's just basically Clark when he, you know, with, with his powers. And I do like the cast. I think the cast is fine. Tom Welling, Kristen Krug is a cutie pie. Uh, Michael Rosenbaum, I, I, much better Lex Luthor than that the, the, than Jesse Eisenberg. Um, Eric Johnson, Sam Jones the third, Allison Mack from uh, she was in uh, Honey We Shrunk Ourselves and a lot of other stuff. Annette O'Toole, beautiful woman from Superman three, and John Schneider as Jonathan Kent. This I found as well. So to find this whole season on DVD, I think that this I don't know if they're in good shape or not, but you know. Some of them might be. I mean, it's been a long time. It, the, the box is not in good condition, but it, it at least I found it, and maybe it'll work. And if it does work, I'll see it. At least, and if, if for anything, it has a great presentation. Look at all the actors there from the first season. If I like the show, I'll get the rest of the seasons. I still prefer Supergirl because that show has a lot of action, and it didn't tease. It showed her in the costume from the first episode all the way to recently, the last few episodes. So... There's Smallville. Nexus is another film I found uh, for free. Yeah, I find a lot of stuff on the for uh, for free in my area because I live in the city where people just throw these things away, and I'm like, why? If the disc is in good condition, oh, because physical media is dumb. I could just see it on Netflix. Netflix ain't gonna last forever. A physical DVD, I could keep it for another decade and it will work. And it's a comedy I thought was okay. Three strikes, yeah. I found this, and, uh, you know, I'd rather get a movie for free than get it for five bucks, and it sucks. But it's a, it's an okay film. I saw it on YouTube a long time ago, and I'd rather see this than anything with Kevin Hart because I don't find him funny. Uh, the guy here, he's all right. Um, What's his name? Uh, Brian Hooks. You got M. Bush Wright. I think she was in the first Blade movie. You got uh, Faison Love. He was in uh, he was in Elf and, and uh, Couples Retreat. And you got David Allen Greer, who's a joy to watch. The guy is very funny. I've always liked watching him in Jumanji. And he was in The Wiz Live. And he did uh, the Jim Teaser, the movie, and a bunch of other stuff. He's a really good actor. So I'm going to see this again. Who knows? I hope the word that this works. Now we get to the Black Friday stuff, the pre-Black Friday stuff, and the stuff I got today. First, I got this. This is a part of my childhood. Don't laugh at me. I got this because I, lo I love these movies when I was a kid. The first one is one of the gems of my of the, of the early '90s, and these are the two first two. These are two sequels, "The Land Before Time," two dinosaur dino might dino might movie collection. It has "The Land Before Time 3, "Time of the Great Giving," and "The Land Before Time 4, "Journey Through the Mist," which is my favorite of the sequels. It's the best sequel. I think these movies are very cute. The characters are memorable: Littlefoot, Sarah, Petrie, Ducky, and and Spike. Very cute characters. Likeable characters, and uh, the C I'm glad the series is over. They don't need to make any more. They've done enough. They've done like over 15 movies, a, tel a television series, and spinoffs and whatever. But I like the first four films are fun. Past that, they kind of went to crap. But these are the good sequels, three and four. And four is the best of the sequels. And I think these movies are really cute, and I'm glad to have it in my collection. Next, I got this for a buck ninety nine, a Best Buy. Really good deal. I haven't seen this movie yet, and I've it's it's been it's been a long time coming. American Reunion, the unrated cut. Yeah, the best slice of pie yet. Hopefully, it's a really long movie. It's like almost two hours long, but uh, I do like the characters from American Pie one, two, and, and American Wedding. Uh, you know, likable actors: Jason Biggs, Allison Hannigan, uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas, uh, Tara Reid. Yes, even Tara Reid. I like the Sharknado movies. Sue me. Um, Eddie K. Thomas, I think he's a fun, sweet guy. Yeah, he's a, he's a nice guy on screen. I like him. Uh, Sean William Scott, of course. He's a, he's always been Stifler. Nobody could ever be him. Uh, Mina Savari, Jennifer Coolidge, and Eugene Levy. Well, everybody came back. You, uh, Shannon Elizabeth, I know, is in a cameo here, which is nice. It's beautiful. I love Shannon Elizabeth. And for two bucks, why not, right? It's a film that I, I did like the other American Pie films. Except for the spin-offs that they did after Band Camp. Those I heard were horrible. Now, the rest of this stuff is uh, mostly superhero stuff, except for one comedy film that well, double bill that I got. This, I love this show. 
this show proves that DC can make a really good project if they put their mind to it and they put good writing, good actors, good directors, and they have a cast that I care about. This ca this actress is better than any actress I've seen all year, for, minus, you know, Scarlett Johansson and Natalie Portman. I'm saying of the new actresses I've seen in the last year or so. This actress kicks ass. She's a beautiful blonde uh, on screen. You know, she's merely a brunette, but love her to death. Love this show. The second season is awesome as well. Don't care about the gay subplot with her sister, but that doesn't ruin anything from the first season. The first season of Supergirl. This show was awesome. The Arrow, the guys that did Arrow and The Flash knew what worked. Supergirl is in her costume. She is vulnerable, so she's relatable. She doesn't, she's not just overpowered. She's, you know, a likable character. And even when she makes mistakes, you you feel for her. And I just love this character. I love she made me love this character, Melissa Benoit. She's amazing. I think she's beautiful. I have people that say she's ugly, they don't have any taste. There's a picture of her. That's an awesome picture. I love that. It's so sexy. And the so the crossover with the Flash is here. So that's all the pictures right there. I'll show you the pictures. of That's uh, Channy Tatum's gorgeous wife, the guy that plays Wynn. And that's her sister, Charlie Lee. I like her. I know they try to make her some bisexual. I don't care. I don't care about that. There's the cast on the back. It's a beautiful set. I love this set. It's got five discs, all red. And uh, this show was so worth it. $10. Best deal I got at Best Buy this year for a TV show. I love this series. I think it's amazing. It's lighthearted, so it's not too dark. And your lead is amazing. Take that, J.J. Abrams. You will never have someone like her in your Star Wars movies or whatever you do for the rest of your career or anybody else. This girl is awesome. This is a strong woman. This is how you define a strong woman right here. She's strong, but she's also vulnerable, and she has human emotion, and she's not a robot, and she has a personality and a face that can light up a room. So, yeah, I love this show. I got, I'm got. i glad I finally got it on season one on DVD. It's good enough for me. Next, this is the theatrical cut, so don't ask me if this is the rogue cut. I didn't get the rogue cut, but I did get this theatrical cut. It's got a great cover, X-Men Days of Future Past with... Beautiful Jennifer Lawrence in that makeup. Yeah, she looks great in the makeup. I would still prefer Rebecca Romaine, Stamos from the first three films, but she did a good job for what she was given. Uh, I do like this film. I think it's the X-Men 3 that we deserved. I think it's way better than part than uh, freaking you know, Apocalypse. I just didn't watch it because I heard that it was horrible. Uh, first Class was kind of, they said that was it had a good story, but it was too boring and had not enough action. This had a, a balance of both. Good acting. Really good special effects, good act action sequences, and uh, it felt like a complete film. Like it, you, to, you, if you don't see X Men: The Last Stand and you see this instead, it fixes all the problems that that movie gave us. And uh, it's a fun movie. It's a really entertaining movie. The theatrical cut, I did like it. It's not like the road cut is going to make it a hundred times better. I mean, it will probably be good, but I like the film in its own. On its own, I still think it works. It's not like Daredevil where they chopped it to PG thirteen and. And they just, you know, they try to make it, they try to pussify it. But then the already cut fixed it. This works on its own. An electrifying ride, yes. That scene with Quicksilver alone was worth buying this for $4 at Target. Great deal. Good movie. And I'm glad I finally got it. And I don't think there needs to be any more X-Men films. That should have been the last one. Because Deadpool already did it the best. And that was R-rated. Next, this is the double bill. This guy used to be funny. I'm seeing his old stuff because his new stuff is not funny anymore. But I like these. I like the one of these films already, and it is the his and her double feature of Adam Sandler's Big Daddy, very funny movie. I love that movie and Fifty First Dates, which I've never watched. And it says it's full screen for the Fifty First Dates, but I open the disc and it says widescreen. So I'm lucky. There's Scuba Steve. That's a scene from the movie in Big Daddy, and then that's a fun movie. It was worth it for that alone. Five bucks at five below, really good deal, and I'm glad I finally got Big Daddy back because I had it on UMD a long time ago. And now, the final Blu-ray that I got. I love this movie. This is my favorite movie of the year. I've talked about this movie with my friends. I think it's badass. It's the best X-Men movie we're ever going to get until Logan comes out. This character was rectified. It's a movie that gave me back my manhood after The Force Awakens girl stole that from me, and... 
it was just a, it was a blast. Deadpool, the holiday special edition of Deadpool. What can I say that hasn't been said about this movie? I got it for seven ninety nine at Best Buy. It is an amazing movie. This movie made me laugh my ass off in the theater. It didn't need an extended cut. Screw you, DC. And uh, you know, you're for your extended cut BS that you did this year. And this was a great film. Like this is how you do a comic book movie R rated without catering to children. If any parents took their kids to see this, you made a mistake. This is an adult movie. It it does it holds that in high regard. It doesn't hold back. It's bloody. It's action packed. It has curse words. It doesn't hold back. It doesn't hold your hand. You know, it has a scene. It has sex scenes in it, but are not overly done like Fifty Shades of Grey. It's got one of the best romances in a in a horror in a Hollywood movie when it comes to an, a superhero film, and it's very entertaining. Yes, the villain sucks, but the movie is entertaining. That's why I bought it. And it has all these features, which I can't wait to see. And just a, what a what an awesome movie. That's why it's my number one. Civil War would have been my number one if Zemo was done better. And, uh, you know, the, the film didn't have, like, so much in it, like, that that was not necessary. Like, those scenes with Bucky and, Fr and Russian or whatever. That just took me out of it a little bit. But this, besides this crappy villain, it's hilarious. It proved that Deadpool is a great character. Can't wait for Deadpool 2. Tim Miller knocked it out of the park. The next guy that's going to do John Wick is directing Deadpool 2. Can't wait. This character deserves the justice. He deserves justice and redemption after that horrible job they did with him in X-Men Origins Wolverine. And Ryan Reynolds is awesome. He is the lifeblood of this character. Without him, there is no Deadpool for me. Especially in film-wise. You know, just, he was perfectly cast. And... I love Marina Baccarin. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. One of the most beautiful women to walk the earth. Uh, I like Gina Carano. She's there for, as a henchman. T.J. Miller's funny. Uh, and uh, who else was in the film? Uh, that black lady, the, the old black lady that's you know that has drugs. She was funny. And uh, just what a blast. So worth it. $7.99 at Best Buy. I had to wait on the line with a bunch of douche nozzles to get this. But believe me, this was worth it. And it's the final movie I got for Black Friday, and I'm so glad. And I will be talking about this movie again when I get to my best of the year. So that's all the stuff I got. Amazing stuff. I'm glad I got all this stuff. I deserve it. I've been through a rough year. My friends know about this, and getting this stuff took a lot of saving. You know, my uh, I had to do a lot of saving. I had to sell, a, you know, take a lot of, uh, you know, coins to the cat, to the coin machines and you know just save my money little by little do chores around the house and bam a huge wad and i got a lot of entertainment for december and for the new year so thanks guys for believing in me i'm glad you didn't leave my channel i'm, I'm glad i could do these videos for you guys because you're, you're so worth it after this hard year this leap year that took a lot out of me it's good to go back and give you guys a video in front of the camera and showing you all the stuff that i know that I'm going to enjoy throughout the next couple weeks to months in the new year. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and comment and like this video. And leave so and uh, also show me your what stuff you got on Black Friday. You know, if you had to fight the crowds for it, I did, but I came out a winner. I am just as victorious as Cap was in Civil War. So I'll leave you with that. Take it easy, guys.